you got to put your whole self in. Right? You got to cut off the cell phone. You got it. No TV. There were those of you who were watching the game last night. You really didn't have no business watching these boys win a national title, going to the NBA, making millions. You didn't have no business watching them because you're not where you need to be. Right? Some of y'all don't have no business watching the basketball game because you're not where you need to be. If you put your whole self in and got a 1.5, I'm loving you. Two, three years from now, that 1.5 is going to into, turn into a 2.5. You're going to be all right. I know from personal experience. So we got three weeks. I need all televisions off. I need cell phones off. Listen to me. Some of you are going to be broke for the rest of your life because of that little thing on, on, on the side. You're going to be broke for the rest of your life because of a little cell phone. And so you got three weeks. I need you to study like you've never studied before. I need you up all night long studying. You hear me say this all the time. For some of you, this is it. You've heard me say it before. You play games when you come here because you got gear on. But you know where you're from in Detroit. You know where you're from in Flint. You know where you're from in Saginaw. And you know your parents are broke. You know some of you got about seven, eight folks living in one house. And it ain't no real room for you when you go back. This your opportunity to blow up. But we know the reality with some of us where we live. And our parents don't have no money. And they taking out loans, working two or three jobs for you while you up here playing. Listen to me, I need you to put your whole self in for the next three weeks. You got it. And even you say, Eric, look, man, you don't understand. If I put everything in, I'm still going to get a 1.0. I'm telling you to do it anyway. Because, you know, I told you I flunked English three times like a little basic one. So listen to me, I need you to give 120% these last few weeks. All right? Don't go home. Wherever you're from, don't go home. This is your home now. There's a few elements here. The first is that you should always work hard and give your best. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. If you always give your best, you will get much better results than if you don't. Giving 100% in everything you do always leads you to greater things in life. The workers who go above and beyond in this world are almost always rewarded with better positions and pay raises. Those who train harder, study harder, and give more of themselves will always get more out of their life than those who take it easy. That's just common sense. So give your best. Give everything you have to get your best possible result. And if it doesn't work out, at least you will have the pride of knowing you gave it your best shot. At worst, you will have learned as much as you can along the way. And those who are committed to learn more in life will always be the same people who earn more and become more. Second thing I have to say is you're young. Far too young to stress out. Leave that crap for later in life when you have kids and bills to pay. For now, just do your best. Work hard and see what happens. Your path will reveal itself in time. When you really know what you want to do with your life, when you find something you must do, that is when you must lock in and say, this is it. That is when you tell yourself, I'm all in. One failed test doesn't mean jack in the real world. Do you know how many successful people failed tests in school? Every one of them. It's normal. But guess what? Those successful people didn't give up, and that is the key. They kept working on becoming better themselves, better in everything they do. See, when you get out on that field of life, no one wants a guy who passed every test. They want a guy who's willing to fight for his dream. The one who had the character to fight back after failing, that guy is much more valuable in the real world than someone with book knowledge. So work on yourself. Work on your education, yes. But work on yourself just as much. Build some mental strength. It's much more important than passing a test. You cannot win at life if you're losing in your mind. If your mind is strong, then your life will be strong.
90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. It's got to be those days you push through. And they're, they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline, I get things done. Write down everything you want to do. This is what I want you to do. Write down what you would like to fix about your life. And then just, if you're 30 pounds overweight, you want to lose 30 pounds, do it the right way. Go start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. The brain is the general, the troops are the body, and you get up and you do it. And then you get to write it down. Our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. It's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. It really is. Like discomfort and uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work. And he labels it like an enemy. He calls it resistance. Mm -hmm. You know, and that you have to sit down, you have to overcome resistance, and that the pro goes to work. And it doesn't matter if you're sick, doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro and you go to work. And that, and that just, it puts it in your head that this is what I do. You have pride in that. And then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're, you're, you got, you look down the count, it says put a thousand words in you, you know, yeah. and you, you, you're doing the work yeah. and out of that work, gems blossom. And it's about resistance that people feel when uh, you know you should write, or you know you should paint, or whatever you should sculpt, whatever these things are that you, you pursue. And that there's this thing that comes up that tries to keep you from doing that. This resistance. And he's like, this is a battle that you will fight for the rest of your life. But the key is to fight it, not to give in. Don't give in to that resistance. To fight, Just to fight that resistance, and in doing so, every day you do so, you have won the battle for that day. And you will continue to fight that battle. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You've got to sell yourself every day, every day, every day. According to your level of belief, it will manifest itself in what you're doing. Whatever we have right now, whatever we're demonstrating in our lives, is a result of what we believe subconsciously that we deserve. And part of increasing that belief level is that you have got to convince yourself every day. See, the last chapter to your life has not been written yet, and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about the things that you've done that you feel guilty about. If you wouldn't do it today, you're convicting an innocent person. And I'm going to be dead honest with myself because I'm realizing this is not going to last forever. And I'm going to get myself in shape and I'm going to eat healthy. And I'm going to do this because this is, this is me now. I decide that this is me. And people have to realize that you are not your past. You are not all oh, the yeah. times you f***ed up. You're not all the times you were drunk. That's not you. What you, you are the person who's learned from a great deal of experience. You can learn all the techniques in the world if you don't believe in yourself it won't happen for you